Hi everyone, I'm adding this disclaimer here to hopefully address some potential questions. See, I usually film my videos in bulk on my trips to theme parks. Therefore, I have quite a few backlog that just haven't been released. Problem is that when the parks start to reopen in mid-July, they're gonna look a lot different than what is pictured in my videos, and I just don't wanna confuse viewers. So what I'm gonna do is post as many as I can up until Walt Disney World begins to open on July 11th. So that's a video every day for the next three weeks or so. Once the park reopens, we'll work on showing you what they look like in real time. But for now, enjoy this walk through the parks of 2019. Hi everyone, Brian from touringplans.com, going down some steps because I am in the Italy Pavilion in Epcot's World Showcase, and I am just going to show you around the Italy Pavilion. I am starting out here. I am actually across the promenade from the pavilion, right near the water, near these wonderful gondolas and poles, uh, which are the types of things you see all throughout Venice. You don't really see Spaceship Earth much in Venice, uh, but maybe I just missed it. Italy is one of the few countries in World Showcase that I've actually been to the real one. So uh, whether that will help me, I don't know. It was like 16 years ago that I was there. So, uh, and over here we have a little canal with another gondola in it. Uh, looks hot. Over here we have a photo pass photographer taking shots of the lovely pavilion. And then we cross the promenade to the Italian Pavilion. This, of course, is a recreation of St. Mark's Square in Venice, the, complete with the giant pillars and the campanile. The difference between a campanile and just a straight up bell tower, the campanile is not attached to the building that it is servicing. Uh, this is true of the one in St. Mark's Square in Venice as well. But see, not attached, therefore it is not just a bell tower, it is the campanile, which for all I know means bell tower in Italian. Uh, the only Italian I speak is parla inglese, which of course means do you speak English. Over there, that is the, that right there is the wine shop. I did visit there on my wine walk, which is a different video. Over here in this charming little nook back here is one of the entrances to the main shop on the side they sell venetian style masks and lots of things like you know ferrari t-shirts fragrances italian things this is tuto italia the ristorante here in the Italian Pavilion, of course, serving Italian favorites there. And next to it, we have Tutto Gusto, which is a wonderful little wine cellar. Uh, the prices are high, even for Disney, those are high prices, but it is incredibly charming inside. They have a wonderful meat and cheese boards, uh, wine flights, of course, you can get there, which you can't get at the Italy kiosk for food and wine. Uh, you can see me lamenting that in a different video. And back here is Via Napoli. This is the pizza place. It is probably the best pizza in Disney World. Uh, it is definitely at least in the top two. There is a takeout window right there for it as well. But it is real, it is real high heat fired pizza, thin crust. Uh, excellent it is it is great and all of this over here is also via napoli they can open these doors on nice days which you know in florida is i think two weeks in january and this fountain is inspired by the trevia fountain in rome a little seating and smoking area over there and that's about it uh, unfortunately even though as as lovely as this is with the Italian music and it having three different places that you can eat. It is Italy after all. Uh, it is a sm one of the smaller pavilions. There aren't really any side streets here. It is just this one big main area uh, and, and that's about it. 
It does have several under the Doge's Palace right here, several shaded benches, which are very nice. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, it's just not as big as some of the other pavilions, which is too bad. But even though this tour didn't take very long, I still appreciate you taking it with me. So thank you very much for watching. Ciao.